Welcome to today's video, mamas. I am going to be talking through some preschool homeschool ideas that I have to teach my three-year-old son this coming school year. I am going to divide his learning up into several categories. The first is practical life. So this is very much a Montessori concept. It involves things like caring for oneself, caring for the environment. And then we have language and reading. So this is going to encompass all the things like letter recognition, being able to identify different nuances of words and sounds then math so being able to count identify things like shapes and colors handwriting which is pretty self-explanatory art and music and then we have general everyday learning so for me this encompasses things like the date so the month the day the year and the weather now I have specific resources that I'm definitely gonna be tapping into this year that kind of cover the gamut of all of these subjects. The first is JDA's toddler learning folder. This cross cuts ages two to four, depending on where your child is at with learning different concepts. This is a folder that you do put together yourself. And I know there are others out there that are very similar to this and already are put together for you. So that's something that I would encourage you to get if you are interested. It's just a great way to have all of these fun activities consolidated into one place. This is something that I purchased before I knew about those things and honestly I really do love it and I love how my son is interacting with it so far you will see things like color matching color and shape sorting and then we have things like this which are a little bit more advanced so a child is given this ice cream cone and it has a shape in it and then they have to find the specific ice cream that goes with that shape. And then we have fun things like this, which my son really loves to do right now. Um, he will take these off and do these over and over and over again. Another one is Get Ready Preschool by School Zone. And I showed this to you all in my homeschool haul. So this pack includes a lot of different things. We have a clock here, some dry erase activities, flashcards that have colors on them, little booklets that have opportunities opportunities for a child to trace and color. And then we have a pencil that comes with it, some stickers, all of these different fun activities that my son can do as he goes through this year of preschool. Now let me give you more details about each of those categories that I mentioned. First, practical life, very simple. I am hoping that my child is going to be potty trained by the end of this school year. So he is going to be three in July, which is coming up soon. Another thing is to make sure that he is able to dress himself. He has started to understand how to put his shirt on, his pants on, but his socks and shoes are things that we do struggle with. So I'm hoping that he is going to be very comfortable doing those things as well. And then making sure that he can clean up after himself without prompting. So not just being able to do the thing, which he already knows how to do. He knows how to pick up and clean after himself, but I want him to be able to have ownership to do it without me prompting him. Another thing that he's been working on is preparing meals, preparing snacks for himself, serving his sisters, serving himself. So we're gonna continue that as well. Our goal for language and reading is that my son would be able to continue to develop his vocabulary, being able to identify things in his environment and also starting to refine his speech a little bit. So getting a little bit more clear about articulating words. And then finally, I'm hoping that he is going to be able to start identifying initial sounds of words and start recognizing symbols and what this and the sounds that they make and what the name of the symbols are. So now let's talk about specific activities for language and reading. I have these really cool animal cards and I bought these a while ago. I bought these when I first started homeschooling two years ago and they have the picture of the animal and then on the back it gives you facts about the animal. Now really the only thing I'm going to use these for is matching. So I have these really cool magnets that have realistic looking animals animals on them. So when it comes to this activity, he's going to lay out these cards and he is going to have 
all of these different magnetic animals to match them up with. As I have been doing this activity with him, I make sure that he understands and knows the actual names of each animal. So if I point to an animal or I say, ooh, let's find the sheep, and then he will make sure that he puts that with the appropriate picture. This is something that I'm definitely going to extend and have him you know, match up letters, things like that to identify the initial sounds of pictures. So this is one of those activities that can be used again and again for different purposes. And a lot of the activities I'm gonna show you have that potential as well. Then we have this activity, which is fantastic. There are these little boards that come in a three by three grid and they have all kinds of different pictures with the names of the pictures on the bottom. And it's very simple. A child will just grab these pictures that match directly with the pictures that are on here and that's the first step. They just go about doing that. We name what the picture is. Our focus for this year as far as reading is to strengthen his oral skills. So being able to identify initial, middle, ending sounds of words and start to pick up on patterns in speech. So things that rhyme, syllables. In addition to the picture cards that I just showed you and the animal cards, I am going to have him look at cards like this that have different objects on them. They are illustrated, but the point is is that he would start to identify these objects and he is going to start to use each of these dots to break up those sounds. So beginning, middle, and ending sounds. And this is not something that I think he's gonna be doing anytime soon, but hopefully halfway through the year, he will start to get more comfortable with this concept and will be able to start doing that with his finger and then blending. On the back of the card is the actual word. So we'll be able to start to add some specific letter magnets, things like, like that that I have that he can spell out the words. Speaking of magnets, JDA has a free printable that you can use to help the child match up these letters. And these specific magnets come in two colors. The consonants are blue and the vowels are red. Her sheet actually has those letters in those exact colors. So it makes it just a little bit easier for the child to match up the letter. Another thing that we're going to do to help my son develop his reading and language skills is read books and go to the library and have fun exploring different types of books. I do have a little section in our homeschool room set aside just for my son's books and that's something that's kind of openly displayed so that he can grab those things at any time during the day. We also do family read alouds. So I incorporate this into our morning basket time where I have books that we have checked out from the library that I'll read during that time. I read a Bible story. We have a memory verse that we go through. And then I have special reading time that I do with my son both at nighttime and during the day when I am going through all of his activities with him. Now I will admit I'm a flash card mama. So I do use flashcards with my kids to help them practice their letter recognition and number recognition. I use this set of flashcards specifically with my middle daughter when she was starting to recognize and practice the sounds of different letters. And I like them because they're just simple contrasting black and white cards and that really is great for a child to be able to just hone in on the actual symbol and not have to see all these different colors, whatever. This is something that again, I plan to use with him once we get to the point where we are putting the sounds that we've learned to the symbols. And then I have two fun picture books that are going to help us practice different initial sounds of words as well as letter identification. The first one is Chicka Chicka Boom Bloom. It's a classic book and it's really, really cute and we're just going to playfully read this book over and over again so we can start to identify those different letters. And then this book, which I picked up, I scored at Marshall's. I love it because it just has these really fun alliterations and they're very goofy and fun. It's going to be just a wonderful read that I can do with my son to practice those initial sounds of words. When it comes to handwriting, I'm going to be focusing on helping my son to develop that fine motor muscle strength that he needs to not only hold a pencil or a crayon appropriately, but to also manipulate that writing utensil so that he can formulate actual curves 
curves and lines. For that particular practice, I'm going to be using some of those books that I showed you in the preschool zone pack. And I'm also going to be giving him this book again, which he's already been using, but he just scribbles in it. So I'm gonna sit with him to do this so that he can really focus and concentrate on doing those different line formations and curves, things like that. And then as far as more fine motor practice, he is going to be doing things like cutting and playing with Legos, things like that. Anything where he can manipulate something on a smaller scale to help him practice those fine motor skills. I'm also hoping that my son can start to recognize his name and write his name. I think we're a long ways off from that, but that's something that I'm going to be rolling into his reading practice and writing practice this year. The next category is math. My goal here is that my son would be able to start counting objects. So right now he is able to count without objects in front of him, but he does not quite yet get that those numbers actually represent quantities of things. So I'm hoping to give him things like these unifix cubes, different types of manipulatives that he can count. And this includes things like Cheerios, all kinds of things that are in his environment that we're going to work on counting. And then being able to identify shapes and colors. These are things that we are still working on. We started to work on them already, but I'm hoping that he will be able to be fluent in this by the end of this coming school year. Now let's talk about some fun math activities that I'm gonna be doing with my son. I really love these cards. These are math counting cards that I got last year from Target. And what we've been doing with these is we just use these counters. So these are glass beads and my son just puts the glass beads, matches it up to the item or the object that's on the card and we count them. Along with those glass beads, I do have a number of manipulatives that he can use for counting purposes. I have these Unifix cubes, dried beans, we have buttons. So a lot of different types of things that we can use to count. And these are all fun sensory manipulatives as well. I also have these number magnets. So as we are practicing visual discrimination specifically for number symbols, this is something that we can use in like a matching activity for that. Once my son starts to get comfortable with counting, he is going to start matching up the actual symbol of the number to a quantity. And I love these self-correcting puzzles for that. This is something that I use with my middle daughter and it helped her so much in identifying the numbers and understanding what quantity is represented by that number. I have this puzzle, which is a numbers puzzle. And what I like about it is not only does it have the quantities that the child is gonna match up, but it has different pictures within the quantities to show you how much this number represents. This is another puzzle and this one is focusing on identifying the different colors. So we have the crayons on top of here and then we have the shapes which also have colors. This puzzle is pretty easy for him right now, but what we're focusing on is starting to name the different shapes and colors. So once he gets really, really comfortable with that concept, we're gonna move on to some more advanced identification. In addition to the colors and shapes jigsaw puzzle, I have attribute blocks, and this is something that goes along with the building thinking skills curriculum that I use with my rising first grader and second grader. And so this is something that I'm planning to use with him as well. They have rectangles, triangles, circles, hexagons, all those different types of things in different sizes. So there is a plethora of different activities that we can do with this. We can do a sorting activity based on colors. We can do sorting based on size, based on shape. And I'm also hoping to use this for him to trace and then coloring the inside of the shapes. This is something that you'll see in Montessori. I think it's called the metal insets and we don't have that. So this is what we're gonna do instead. I also have these really fun color books. So this one I showed again in a previous homeschool haul and this is called My Huge Book of Colors. 
illustrations by Agnes Baruzzi. Here is another fun color one. It's shorter. So this will be something that he can just read on his own. Then I have this book. It's called My First Farm. This is something that I picked up from Marshalls and it will help the child with their visual discrimination skills. When we first got this book, my son wasn't really sure about what to do with it, but now we have been able to start doing some of the activities. So there is color recognition, being able to match the colors with specific objects. And then we have pattern recognition. So putting the different objects at the end of a pattern, what comes next? And then we're matching up the different colors with different animals and objects. So this is just a great book, just overall for visual discrimination. I have a couple of really fun counting books that I'm hoping to use with my son. The first one is Accounting We Will Go. This is something that I picked up from a yard sale. I think it was like, 15 cents or something like that. So this will be fun to use. The next book is a DK book and it's called My First Number Book. It's pretty old. I don't even remember where I got this. I think this was a hand-me-down from a friend and it just has the numbers on each page and they have little things that go with it. So one fluffy kitten, it tells you what it is and the child just counts as you go along. I really do like the fact that it has real life things instead of just illustrations. This is definitely something that is favorable in Montessori because it represents things that are actually in real life, that are in the environment. Last, we have a book called 10 Little Ladybugs, and this is something that all of my kids have enjoyed throughout the years. It's such a great tactile experience for counting, and it counts down from 10 to one. When it comes to art, we're going to be doing that based on different books that we read, and the seasonal changes, things like that. And then when it comes to music, my son really, really loves to play the drums. He also has a little ukulele that he likes to play and a keyboard. We are a musical family, so we have all of these things available, but there are definitely different types of smaller instruments that you can get for your child if they're interested. So we have little drums and tambourines and shakers, things like that, that we will use up in our homeschool room for him to play with. And then we have general everyday learning. So for me, this encompasses things like the date and the weather. These are things that I wanna cover and do every day with all of my kids, but I wanna get him a little bit more actively involved. So I'm trying to find different resources for that. I'm on the lookout for that now. I used to have some fun things, but they got messed up over time. So if you have any ideas about that or things that have worked really well for your kids, please let me know in the comments. That will be so helpful. This goes without saying, but my son is going to do a lot of learning through play. We have a lot of free play time during our school day. And aside from all of the fun things that we're gonna be doing in these specific learning categories, he is going to be doing a lot of playing outside, playing at different parks, going and exploring different sites. So that's definitely a key component of our learning this year. Thank you so much for joining me today, mamas. I hope that this video was helpful for you to give you some insights about what you might want to incorporate in your child's preschool learning this year. Take care, be blessed, and I'll see you in the next one.